Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and we got a bunch of knives to go through and unbox. Now, this is just one of my trays. I have a drawer next to my sharpening bench that I keep all the knives in for sharpening or that are getting worked on. And some of these are in for sharpening. Some of them are in to just check out. Let's go through them. So, first one is... Ooh, the kite or the the Best Tech Hornet. I've never checked one of these out, but I've seen them on other people's channels. The Best Tech Hornet. Ooh, that is comfortable in the hand. I do feel this little point right here, but just like this, man, that is super comfortable. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We got G10 uh, shadow boxed steel liners. Nice, smooth action. Nice, strong detent. Oh, yeah, that's got a nice break to it. So this is the Best Tech Hornet. Now, I will try to link as much as I can down in the description, guys. I won't be able to link everything probably, but I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, whatever I can link, I will. Next. Um. Oh. This is the Q, the titanium QSP penguin. That is awesome. Oh, I've been wanting to check one of these out. Oh, this is so much nicer than I th would have thought. It's thinner for one thing, but not like too thin. Oh, I love neutral ergos. That is so comfortable in the hand. Nice access to the lock bar. Nice strong uh, flick. Easy to reverse flick. Very smooth. I know this one's on bearings. I have watched some videos on these. Titanium milled clip. I can't remember. Does it come with a titanium milled clip? I'm guessing it does. Beautiful stone wash all the way across. 154C. Um, this is really nice. Yeah, I like this. I like this quite a bit. All right, let's get to the next one. Next... Oh, we got two in this one. <clears throat> oh, ha! it's a little ProTech, uh, the PR8, the little ProTech PR8. Very cool, a little automatic, but this is going to be legal in a lot of places, a lot more places than uh, because it's such a small blade. Listen to the detent. Oh, I just couldn't hear it. On the last one I had, it went tink. But very, very snappy. Wow. Nice, strong pop to it. Strong, very strong lockup. Wow, wow. S35VN, aluminum handles, T8 hardware. I love Protex clips. This is a little guy, but I'm, these are pretty, these are USA made. So these things, um, they're not cheap. It's USA made, but some of the best autos on the planet. All right, next one in this little pouch. Oh, this is the Titanium Giant Mouse Ace Riv. I've seen a bunch of videos on these. Uh, it's kind of like, it's like a mini Ace Biblio. I used to have, I've had a couple Ace Bib Biblios. Um, Detent is a little laid on it, so it's kind of a knife you just want to drop with your hand. Very nice flicking action. Nice, strong detent, too. Nice and comfortable in the hand. Um, easy access to the lock bar. We got a wire or a, a wire clip. Bronze backspacer. Let's check the flipper. Ooh, strong flipper. I wasn't expecting that. Um, it's a little small for me for my hands, but very, very nice, though. I mean, uh, nice flipping action. Um, nice strong lockup. Um, very, very nice, man. These things are really nice. Um, I remember everybody was raving about them. And, you know, having the Ace Biblio, the Ace Biblio was a little small for me. So um, I, I was going to pick one of these up, but it would be for Caramore because for me, the Ace Biblio was, I love the Ace Biblio, but that was a small knife for me. So this is just something that would be 
you know, a little too small for me, but I'll say this though, man, uh, this would be very, very useful. This would be a great secondary for me or primary for, for some, but I mean, you know, for me, I couldn't carry it as a primary, but I could definitely carry it as a secondary. Okay. That's the one I already looked at. Oh, we got two on this one too. Oh, whoa, whoa. I got to look at the, the information. This is the Comoran tie, the Comoran, uh, the Comoran K O 11, I think. Very cool. Look at this Anna work. Wow. Okay. The K O O O K O zero one one. The U two. Oh wait. U two X steel. I don't know what that is. This is very interesting. Nice flipping action. Look at that flipper tab. Very unique flipper tab. Nice strong uh, um, snap to it. I can tell the bearings are a little dirty. No problem. Probably have to clean that out. Still flips really good though. Lock bar access is really nice. Nice drop to it. Um, no. Uh, it's tight. It's very tight. I doubt people. most people can do it. Yeah, it's tight. Um, very cool though. I like that pivot. Look at that pivot. It almost looks like a rim on a car. <laughs> nice big T8 hardware right there. Oh, we got a little glass breaker back here. Pow. Um, man, this anna work is is wicked. You can see the micro milling in there if you really look. We have an American Tonto. Um it could use a new edge. Looks like it's been used on cutting some tape and stuff. So I'm not sure if this one's in for sharpening or not, but beautiful stone washing. Holy cow. It's got a nice drop to it too. So a tanto like this is really good because you can use the primary tip or the secondary tip. You can use either one of these tips really easily. You don't, it's not like you have to go like this to get to the tip. You can get to it right there pretty, pretty easily. Very cool. Let's get to this next one. Okay, this next one is in a sleeve. Oh, this is the CJRB Rhea. I actually had one of these a long time ago, and I didn't have it for very long because I gave it away to one of the patron members. Um, a good friend of mine uh, won it uh, from the patrons. <clears throat> titanium clip i don't think mine wasn't mine was g10 so this is the first time i've tried one in my carta and this one should be a r r p m 9 steel yep these things are really cool they're very for such a thin little knife this thing is super comfortable in the hand it's almost like having a compact little knife that's also a full-size knife at the same time the detents on these are just so well tuned you can easily flick them i mean these are really really nice the drop on is very smooth very snappy uh thumb studs and you can always just slow roll it and even the slow roll is kind of satisfying but it's kind of hard in a way because once that detent breaks it just wants to pop and i tend to do this when i uh do when i uh snap these open because instead of going like this and going like that to the side where i'm just going like that instead of doing that i do this where i'm pulling down here and forward on my thumb so it's like that <laughs> it's so snappy <laughs> Very nice micarta. This is their coral micarta. Um, I really like their green micarta too. And you can reverse flick this very easily. Very cool, man. Very, very cool. Those are these are such nice little knives, man. So underrated too. Next, I think this is the last one. Yeah, yeah last one. Ooh, we got a ZT. Oh, five, six, two tie with an insane anno work. Holy cow. Whoever did this did a fantastic job. Holy, sh holy cow. This is really cool. Look at man. Even the transition right here. Look at how beautiful that is. Now, if you guys don't know, this is anno work. So this is done with an electric current underwater. And <clears throat> there's different ways to get this process done. 
but just colors, period. Um, you, you put them under water and an electric current goes to it and it changes colors. You can also do it with a torch with heat, but actually this anode work is done with both. The, the way you get this type of process done, it's done with both flame and with, or sorry, no, no electric. It's flame and then uh, chemical. Um, I'm not going to obviously sit here and go through all the process, but it's a flame and then a uh, um, then a chemical process and you dip it in and this is what winds up coming out but the the electric current type um is how, where you get the colors and you can get like specific colors like if you want to do an all purple one you can do an all purple one um and then depending on your finishing process before you do it meaning like if it's a stone washed finish then you're going to get a different color or a different shade than if it was polished this was obviously polished and that's why we're getting the bright colors you get the bright colors only with a polished finish these are amazing knives. Definitely very tough knives. Um, uh, they are a hinder design. So, it, you know, it's very similar to like the XM18. It is kind of a way to get into like an XM18 without paying XM18 money. Very, very nice knives. Um, I will say the anal work has made the lock bar on this very slippery. <laughs> because it's so slick. So what I would personally do is I would knock that anno off right there. And that little chamfer right there, I would just knock it off. I would sand it down and just reveal titanium. And then that way it would be very easy to disengage without slippering. Slipping. Slippering. <laughs> without slipping. Awesome. There you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.